Okay, so <laughs> I am not a Revit user, but I play one on TV. No, I'm just kidding. Um, I actually use ArchiCAD, but I've had a few people ask me, well, can you run Revit on an M1 Max MacBook Pro? And how well does it do? Well, today you're gonna find out. Hi, welcome back to the Colorblind Architect. And here today, I'm going to demonstrate Revit on an M1 Max MacBook Pro. Um, why? Well, occasionally, occasionally, um, I'll have engineers send me stuff in Revit format, and if I can't get them to convert it for me, um, I either have to open it in ARCHICAD as an XREF, which kind of sucks, um, frankly, because uh, it brings it in essentially as only a 3D model, and a lot of the data is lost. So it is helpful to be able to open up Revit, um, be able to do a few tweaks, just to be able to get the data um, into a format that I can better read in ARCHICAD. Um, the other reason why it's helpful is occasionally you need to be able to download product uh, product files, you know, like um, you know GDF, you know GSMs, you know um, ARCHICAD objects. Um, these ARCHICAD objects they can be stuff like um, Sub Zero Wolf refrigerators. Um, they could be, you know, various specialized pieces of equipment. And in the case of Sub-Zero, it's great because they have their whole library in ARCHICAD format. But there are a lot of manufacturers that they only have their 3D library in Revit format, in Revit families. Okay, well, ARCHICAD has a solution for that. You just import the RFA and you can actually turn it into a GSM. Great, wonderful. Here's the problem. Occasionally, like for example, mailboxes. You're probably thinking, what, mailboxes? Yes, mailboxes. Uh, this is one example of a, of a Revit family that I've found that there are manufacturers out there that make these uh, mailboxes for apartments and, um, and townhome uh, complexes, which of course, I do a lot of multifamily, so that's an issue for me and their Revit family that you can download off their website. Um, yeah, it's, it's got all the different configurations in one file. Okay, well, I can't open that up in ARCHICAD except for the one version that is set as the standard. So in Revit, you, you can actually create a default Revit family situation and have multiple configurations. And then within Revit, you can just choose which version you want in the project file. In ARCHICAD, when it converts the RFA to a GSM, it does not do that. So that's why having Revit is very helpful. However, if you want to be legal, yeah, you probably should pay for it. It's really expensive though. So if you want to be 100% above the board, which I do recommend, um, always just have your engineers do it for you. Somebody who you know who has Revit, just so that you don't have to um, do anything illegal like, you know, um, downloading BitTorrent and downloading a cracked version of Revit, which I totally did not do for this. I, I can promise you that. Okay, anyways, <laughs> here we go. So the first thing you're gonna need to be able to run Revit on a M1 Max MacBook Pro. It's very important to remember Windows does not load on Boot Camp on these new Apple Silicon devices, so you will need Parallels. Uh, Parallels is about $80 for the license. It's well worth it though. So let's get started. So we're gonna open up Windows. Now I have Windows already set up and configured on this machine to run about half of the um, system 
uh, system CPU and system memory so that it can perform at a reasonable rate. Um, this is something that you should also consider doing, especially if you're gonna be running Revit, just because if you go with the standard configurations, it's only gonna give you four CPU cores and eight gigs of RAM. In this case, I've got 32, no, I've got 24 gigs of RAM that are configured for it with up to eight CPUs. Um, it does degrade some of the performance on the Mac, but it's important if you're gonna be running Revit to be able to um, get the performance that you need. So as you can see, I'm clicking on the start menu and in coherence, you can see that you're still within Mac, but Windows is here. So let's type in the search for Revit. Uh, we're just gonna go ahead and open that baby up. And of course, remember this is this is Windows 11 ARM 64-bit running through Parallels, which is an emulator. And then on top of that, Revit is an x86 app. So it's having to run through Windows's conversion. You know, so Windows own ARM to x86 conversion. And then it's running through Parallels and then through Mac OS. So there is going to be some speed loss over the course. So if you really want this as a daily driver, um, I would not recommend it. I would just recommend getting a Windows machine. You're, you're just gonna be a lot happier if your daily driver is Revit. But if your daily driver is ArchiCAD, and this is really just a means to, um, like I said, support your, um, your workload, Great. So now I'm going to open up a sample file. This is um, this is just a uh, file that somebody had sent me that um, is in Revit format, and I'm opening it up, and then we're going to just play around in 3D so that we can see how well it orbits. Okay, as you can see, we've got we've got our 3D model complete with furniture and everything else in there. I can hold down the shift key and the scroll button on the mouse, orbit around. And as you can see, everything is coming through reasonably smooth, actually. It's surprisingly smooth, considering all the translations having to do. Um, so let's, uh, let's see if we can turn um, the section box on. I honestly can't remember how to do the uh, section box. Yeah, let's just kill that. I'm gonna open Revit again. And we're just waiting, waiting, waiting. By the way, have you noticed how much better Revit looks like on a Mac than it does on Windows? <laughs> um, although one downside, you'll notice with the notch, um, you do end up losing uh, some screen real estate for, for this, but you know, oh well. Okay. So this time we are not going to turn on the section box, just to be clear. Uh, let's open up the floor plan and see how that does. Okay, very smooth. Wow. And granted, this isn't the biggest of files, but I mean, you know, still, I mean, considering. This is totally workable. So yeah, I mean, I would say, heck, even if you, even if you just really love the MacBook Pro and um, you you want to be able to run Revit on it, wow, it looks like, looks like it would be a really good option for when you're on the go. I mean, I would, I would still think that the desktop computer would be better, but 
I mean, I, I don't see any problem with this other than the locking up. Let's check out elevations, see how well the elevations produce. The, oh, that was almost instantaneous uh, with a lot of vectoral hatching. So, I mean, that's coming in pretty good. Let's go north. Yeah, let's look at the front of the building, south. Okay. Yeah, pretty smooth. Okay. So, I mean, the only the only issue that I'm seeing here is it seems that the section box um, locked the computer up. Which, granted, I did that in the 3D view, so I'm wondering. Um, the person who created this file, um, they actually have a section box view already. Okay, never mind. So that's actually already in pretty good shape. So let's click on that. Cut that. Maybe raise it up a little bit. Super quick. Wow. I'm, I'm actually really impressed. Um, so then I wonder, what if we wanted to just render? What would happen if we just render on this? Okay, and I'm totally at a loss here because I totally forgot how to render in Revit. Um, let's see, view. Ah, there we go, render. Uh, let's just do a draft render, just a quick test, see how quickly this thing can do it. Okay, this might take a little while, so we'll fast forward in a moment. Okay, and we're done. Um, that wasn't too bad. It was probably a couple minutes um, for the render. And uh, yeah, it's just a draft quality, but you know, it looks it looks okay. I mean, this is, this is definitely passable for a, uh, for something to, you know, like if you wanted to just do like a quick screenshot type clip of this and send it to a client, it wouldn't, be terrible, especially if you're in rapid development. I could totally see this being worth worthwhile. I mean, obviously, I wouldn't want to rely on the Revit renders, um, you know, for for your production quality stuff. You'd probably want to throw it into a higher quality rendering software like uh, Lumion or or Twin Motion or Inkscape. But I mean, this this looks great. So. I guess the answer is if you are looking at a new laptop and you want to have something that um, is much more beautiful, functions really well, um, yeah, I would totally recommend the M1 Max MacBook Pro um, as an option, just so long as you understand that it's not going to perform as good as other things. But the thing about this is you're getting the really good battery life you're getting the super quick performance and all your other apps that are Mac running, they're gonna run super fast to the point where you're gonna wonder why you ever used Windows before in your life. And then the fact that you can use a, uh, the fact that you can use, um, you know, Revit just, I mean, like I said, I mean, here we are just orbiting, I mean, it's totally smooth. So, hey, uh, hopefully this was helpful. Um, on a future video, I'm going to show how to take a Revit family that has multiple types within it and be able to convert it into an ARCHICAD GSM um, for your use if you're, um, if you're needing to do that kind of workflow because I know that's the primary use that I have for this. Um, occasionally, like I said, somebody sends me a file like this and I need to be able to convert it to ARCHICAD for use. Um, so it's important to be able to have that capability. 
Um, and like I said, you know, remember, don't, don't pirate software. If Revit's your daily driver, you should absolutely, you know, buy a license um, and support the programmers that use it. Same thing with Archicad. If you, if you use Archicad as your daily driver, pay for it. Support the software programmers that are working really hard to make our lives as architects a lot easier. And with that, hopefully this was helpful. I'm the Colorblind Architect. Peace out.